There's something fishy going on. My whole family are acting quite mysteriously. My mum keeps whispering into the telephone when she thinks no one's listening. And Dad keeps disappearing into the shed. Dad, what are you doing in there? Um, I'm, I'm practicing my golf swing. But you don't play golf. I know. That's why I'm practicing. That's my sister Abby. I don't know why she keeps smiling at me each time she goes past. Oh, by the way, my name's Peter. I wish I knew what was going on. It's a mystery. Blimey. Rooms bugged. Mystery solved. A free home trial. It's time to call in a professional. How can we assist you, sir? A long trench coat, a very bad false beard, and a pork pie hat. He's definitely a spy. Well, it's like this. Shh, not so loud, sir. So I explained the whole thing to him, very quietly. You've come to the right place, sir. We can offer you three options. An agent. A double agent. A secret agent. I think I'll just have the basic agent, please. A wise choice, sir. I felt a bit daft travelling down the road with a spy, but I couldn't wait to find out what was going on. He called himself Mr X and reassured me he'd blend into the background. First, first, we put our suspects under surveillance. Luckily, I'm a master of disguise. Next time Mum crept into the lounge to make a phone call, she failed to notice that her standard lamp had miraculously sprouted a disguise. And next time Dad sidled out to the shed, he somehow missed the fact that his stepladder had suddenly sprouted a very bad false beard. And next time Abby smiled smugly at me, Notice Mum's favourite pot plant appeared to be sporting a pork pie hat. Where have you been? Everywhere. And what are you doing in my cupboard? I found out. There's something fishy. Well, I could have told you that. Then again, I suppose spying isn't the easiest job in the world. Uh, I'm just going shopping because I've got lots of shopping to do and I always do my shopping on a Thursday. Hmm. I wonder where she's going.
Where's she gone? Where's she gone? She's given us the slip. Come on. She's not in the hedge. She's not in the taxi rank. She's not in the bin. She's not in the ladies. She's not up the lamppost. She's not in the bus stop. She's not in the train. Come in and have a cup of tea. Surprise! We didn't guess that you have been organizing this for ages. All your friends are here. In all the excitement, I'd forgotten it was my birthday. Here's a present, son. I assembled it myself. And you needn't look so smug. You've been locked in that shed for ages. Mr. X stayed for tea and manoeuvred the chocolate cake through his false beard. And apart from Abby kissing me on the forehead, I decided it was the best birthday I'd ever had. <laughs>